frosting on that cake was delicious. I'm glad I got rid of the cake before anyone saw me, though. Oh, no, you didn't. I saw you dump it into the trash bin. I can't believe you'd throw out cake. You didn't have to waste it. I would have loved to eat it, frosting or no frosting. I don't get much cake, you know. Waste not, want not, like the Bible says. Well, actually, that's not a biblical quote. I think it probably came from your grandmama, but um, the Bible does contain a lot of that teaching. By the way, aren't we supposed to be studying for that math test tomorrow? Eh, who cares? Well, but you're good at numbers, and as king, it'll all come in quite handy someday. You know, figuring taxes and budgets and how much money to allocate to what cause. Eh, I'll just pay someone else to take care of it. Oh, yeah? And how will you know if they're serving you or robbing the whole kingdom blind? They wouldn't dare, would they? Um, it's happened before. As a matter of fact... What? Um, oh, never mind. No, I heard it too, that rumor that that's one of the things going wrong in my papa's kingdom. I'm sorry, Elion. I shouldn't have said anything. No, you're right. And friends need to be honest with each other. You might be right, too, that it would be better if I can take care of all that money stuff myself. Well, the thing is, you know, what we were just talking about, you know, being wasteful. Yeah, well, what about it? I only wasted some cake. No, there's more. Do you not see that every good thing that we have is a gift from God? Food, shelter, clothes, family, talents, intelligence. Uh, wasting it is wrong. Like with food, when Jesus fed the huge crowds, he always had the disciples pick up leftovers so nothing would be wasted. And uh, there's a parable in Matthew chapter 5 about a rich man who was going on a long journey. Before he left, he loaned some money to some of his servants, the amount according to their abilities. To one he gave five talents. Um, talents is what money was called back then. Another servant got uh, two talents, and a third got one. A long time passed, and when the rich man returned, he called his servants to settle their accounts. Uh, the man, who had been trusted with five talents, used the money to gain five more. The master was very pleased. The second man, who had been trusted with two talents, had earned two more. And the master was also pleased with him. The third man was afraid of his master and of losing the talent he'd been uh, given, so he buried the talent in the ground to keep it safe, and when he brought it back to his master... The master was very angry because the man had wasted the time and the opportunity. Uh, he had the man thrown into darkness. Wow, God really doesn't like wastefulness. And isn't it interesting that our special abilities and also uh, money back then were both called talents? Yeah, that is interesting. And this parable is, um, well, it's what I think as does everybody I know uh, about wastefulness. Elion, you've been given so much, and therefore much will be required of you. That is only fair. And it's also in Luke twelve forty-eight. Hmm. Dan, my friend, you're right. Wasting God's gifts to us is not only wrong, but it's dangerous. Shall we get to that math test then? Um, just one more thing. Do you think God would hold it against me if I wasted my peas? I hate peas. <laughs> Come on, Elion. Maybe there's a mathematical solution to the problem. Okay, I'm in. Let's go.